So, first, a quick overview. The STM32WB is a pioneer in the STM32 family, coming with connectivity, a rich set of peripheral, security, and has been launched on the mass market this week. It's a dual-core SoC where we can run applications on one M4 core and handle radio on the other M0 Plus core. This type of architecture ensures real-time execution for both activities. In terms of connectivity, the STM32WB is quite interesting in that it is multi-protocol capable with Bluetooth 5, Mesh, as well as 802.15.4 with Thread or Zigbee protocols. There are quite a few reasons why it's interesting. So, if I was to summarize, I would say flexibility, a really optimized solution, fast time to market. First about flexibility. The STM32WB offers a large memory size, up to one megabyte flash, and it goes down to 256 kilobytes. The STM32WB also comes with four different packages with two QFM, a WLCSP, and a BGA129 pins. The different potential combination of packages and memory give a wide range of possibility to ensure your application is as cost optimized as possible. So, then to talk about how optimized the solution is in terms of architecture. The dual core is a kind of two-in-one solution to combine MCU and radio on the same SOC. The STM32WB peripherals are inherited from the well-known STM32L4 family and are suitable for low-power applications with low-power modes and integrated DC to DC to increase the battery life. For time-to-market acceleration, the STM32WB ecosystem within the STM32 family is enriched with dedicated RF tools to perform RF trials and prototyping on different radio protocols. So, together with the STM32 Cube MX and STM32 Cube Programmer, the full development chain allows a faster development process. Usually, customer would have to implement a companion MCU to the radio IC in order to manage the radio and application activities. With our dual-core approach, this is already integrated, and the application software development can be done while the radio activity is fully handled on the M0 Plus core, which makes life much easier for developers. So, between the different types of packages proposed, the small peripherals and large number of GPIO offered, the global development of the device from PCB design to the application development becomes much faster. The demo we are showing deals with a multi-protocol environment that one can find in home automation where you want to control things remotely. The principle is to collect many characteristics from a house like temperature, humidity, intrusion coming from sensors, communicating using Bluetooth protocol with the home controller, which then transmit different information to the cloud through the gateway. The home sensor can be locally piloted thanks to an app on a smartphone connected with Bluetooth to the home controller acting as a router for the end node sensors. To send information to the cloud, the Bluetooth home controller supports also our LoRaWAN and Sigfrost protocol stack through an STM32L0 based Murata module. Sensors information can thus be transferred to Sigfox backend and LoRaWAN gateways connected to cloud. This is a real-life real LP1 applicative use case powered by our, our, our radio stack already available on ST.com. The Bluetooth devices, sensors, and home controller are all based on the STM32WB55, handling different roles of the protocol, central and peripheral, supporting the software application, the Bluetooth radio, as well as Sigfox and LoRaWAN stacks. So, just to repeat, the STM32WB55, our new dual-core MCU, bringing connectivity, is in mass market now. 
you can order our nuclear pack and enjoy the STM32 ecosystem enriched with a dedicated radio testing tool, the Q STM32 Cube Monitor RF. You can connect to our wireless pages and on st.com slash stm32wb.